Hello, the topic today is richer content on websites and what spurred that is Coke's new website. If you go take a look at it, it's pretty jazzy, but you'll notice that it's really heavy on content, not on really pushing products so much as uh, aggregating a lot of other information. And uh, back, back when I first looked at it, it looked a little bit like a cross between CNN and a gaming site. There's an article that Michelle Mail wrote called, called The Corporate Website is Dead, Long Live the New Corporate Website. And she uses Coke site to assess the impact of richer content on corporate websites overall. And what she's talking about is that the website template that we're all used to, you know, about us in the news, services, products, contact us, FAQ, a search box, blog, shopping cart, etc., is not going to longer work, especially for large organizations that are in the B2C and then some B2B kinds of companies. And we all have to, have to start thinking more like publishers, reporters, bloggers, reviewers, and authors. One of my all-time favorite book titles, All Marketers Are Liars, was written by Seth Godin. And in it, his bottom line is that we all need to create a clear, consistent narrative about our businesses that other people can relate to. So what Coke is trying to do with a new site, really, is to aggregate and present engaging content that forms this kind of a narrative that reinforces the cool image that they're trying to project. So my immediate impulse, maybe yours too, I hear something like this, I read about it, I look at it, I'll go, gee, maybe I should redo my business site to emulate Coke. But it turns out trying to get that kind of a presence like they've done really requires a huge level of effort and not one that most companies and small businesses can afford to invest. However, what does emerge is an imperative for smaller enterprises, that is almost all of us, to enrich the website narrative that we are projecting already. So here's three steps that I think won't require an increase in marketing staff, but will help you. Number one, add engaging content. You're watching me on video right now. Most people would prefer to do that, uh, maybe not me, but some people, uh, would like, prefer to watch video content so that instead of writing a 500 word article, you might try making a three minute video instead. It's really not that hard. I mean, I'm doing it. Number two, change the content often. Uh, that can be as simple as adding a blog if you don't already have one, or even a video log, and maybe consistently updating that, either monthly, daily, weekly, whatever makes sense for you. And then third is be willing to experiment. Uh, employ some disciplined dreaming, as my friend Josh Linkner calls it, um, to deliberately step outside the usual topics and expand your audience. So if you would rather read something, read on this topic that I've just talked about and get some links and so forth, you can go to blog.2020outlook.com. But I really think video works for most of us a lot better.